Africa is home to numerous great and thriving cities today and has always been home to great cities and urban settlements throughout its history. But growing archaeological interest and research in the continent is starting to produce stunning discoveries of previously unknown cities, monuments and artefacts of various kinds, all of incredible antiquity. The most dramatic in recent times has been the discovery of a large sophisticated city in the Sahara Desert with a unique sophisticated architecture dated to at least 2500 BC, that's roughly 5000 years ago. This city is at the ancient site of Duki Gam in modern day Sudan. It was a discovery that provides further proof that an advanced black African civilization inhabited the Sahara long before pharaonic Egypt. Archaeological research around the African continent has largely focused on ancient Egypt at the expense of the rich history of Africa south of Egypt. However, a recent mission jointly led by teams of Sudanese, French and Swiss archaeologists reveals the existence of a highly sophisticated civilization living over 4,000 years ago in the region of Sudan, very close to the ancient Nubian city of Kerma. At Duki Gel, dozens of circular and oval buildings were unearthed whose architecture bears witness to a meticulous and spectacular construction tradition for its era. With up to 1400 columns and numerous ceremonial palaces, the ancient settlement is just an absolute sight to behold, with artistic reconstructions of its edifices by experts indicating a hugely impressive urban society. Some researchers speculate that it was a military base or outpost used by regional armies south of Egypt cooperating to defend against Egyptian invasion of the south, but that is just a theory and there's no concrete evidence of that. And there's more excavation work going on, because it is believed that there's a lot more of African civilization to find under the once fertile desert sands of the continent. According to Swiss archaeologist Charles Bonnet, Professor Emeritus at the Institut de France, who has spent a lot of time investigating Nubian civilization. This ceremonial city is currently under excavation. It is located less than a kilometre north of the Nubian capital. Its development must correspond to earlier periods of Kerma cultures, although the deep levels have not yet been achieved. This site is part of Duki Gel and presents unique vestiges that should probably relate to central Sudan. Indeed, the architecture is very different from that of the Nubian city. Instead of quadrangular buildings, we find many monuments with oval or circular plans that are unknown in Nubia and Egypt. On the other hand, a chamber six meters thick and doors made of two towers represents a unique and fascinating building system. A second walled enclosure must have existed outside to define a protected space where were found the palaces of considerable size. And UNESCO, which has made Duki Girl a World Heritage Site, states that its foundations pertaining to the Kerma Classic period display architecture not yet seen anywhere else, especially oval and circular temples and palaces of surprising size. Duki Girl was a neighbour of Kerma. The city of Kerma in modern-day Sudan is one of Africa's oldest known cities established around 2500 BC about 4,500 years ago, and roughly contemporary with the early dynastic period of ancient Egypt. And it is characterized by well-developed architecture, which included elaborate defenses, an important religious quarter located at its heart, and countless domestic buildings, storage magazines, administrative and industrial complexes. The remains of the capital city surround the Western Defufa, which is a large temple, currently standing 18 meters high. Of Duki Girl, Charles Bonnet continues. The architecture of Duki Girl remains unrivaled since no other urban center from this period has yet been found in central Sudan. However, a first observation can be made after some eight years of study. The architecture of the site clearly reflects great complexity and a concern with building in a specific way that relies on and reflects an exceptional mastery of craftsmanship that was centuries in development. Nonetheless, the analysis of the buildings is only in its early stages 
and will take several generations to complete, as there are doubtless many other examples to identify. He concludes, it is thus through our architecture that we might be able to identify the three currents of influence in the region. The cultures of Central Africa appear to have played a major role throughout the history of the Nubian Kingdom, although it will perhaps take the discovery of the main ancient sites of the continent for scholars to better appreciate the origins of the Sub-Saharan Kingdom. However, Dukigel apparently displays an impressive urban development. One can imagine that the power of Central Africa is yet to be discovered and that explorations in Sudan represent a crucial point in understanding of the advancement of people over a very large and still unknown territory. Our work opens up a new field of research and it is hoped that field archaeology will enable us to answer some of the questions that have been raised here. So with more and more archaeologists expressing interest in Sudan's Nile Valley where the Kushite kingdom flourished and other kingdoms Bunny is convinced that many kingdoms still lay buried, waiting to be discovered. We have here extraordinary history of the world. Maybe after some years, we will have Sudanology as strong as Egyptology. What further secrets do you hold, Duki girl? What elaborate clues of your excellence dwell beneath the Sahara sands? What does the soil underneath your land hold, Africa? How many cities, monuments, and undiscovered writing scripts lie beneath your sand, beneath your silent forests. When shall we know, Africa, the great secrets of the ancestors, of seers and prophets? Are we meant to know now, or is that for another age? The future of archaeological discoveries in Africa south of the Sahara promises to be a truly exciting one going forward. And here at the African History Station, our job is to keep an eye on all the latest discoveries on this great continent, this cradle of human civilization and to keep you posted. Thanks for watching this episode. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and look out for the next one on Africa's Great Civilizations.